yum, 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 yum. So much pistachio, Get so away, little time. Yeah. <laughs> Danny's following me. We were just at the uh, Mediterranean Market and Grill. You can see the baklava. He's not following me. He's following the baklava. Yummy, yummy, yummy. We are here with my favorite dessert of all time. His favorite. You. <laughs> <laughs> This is one of my favorite desserts, baklava. Wait a second, it's not one of his favorite desserts. These are six of his favorite desserts. <laughs> six cookies and boy, me feeling grand. Six cookies and this picture okay, is me hand. Because Danny's so, mama, so. my fabulous mother-in-law, Margalit, yes, used to make these. Now, okay, so this, if I remember correctly, is a baklava with pistachio. Right. This is a bird's nest with Cashew. Uh, look, it looks like bird nest. Look. It really does. It really, this oh. is Burma. This is Burma. So Burma. it's not called a baklava. It's actually called Burma. And it has a special noodley dough. Right, that you make kanafa with. We make kanafa, which is another dessert. Right. And this has pistachio in it too. Mmm. But in my stomach? <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be bird nest in your stomach. It's just gonna be one big bird's nest. Mm, mm, yummy. Mm, what, yummy. What shall we start with? I feel like I have to cater to Danny because this is from his, you know, people. Right. We got it from a fabulous deli, Mediterranean market. Yeah. Okay, let's have a toast to the fabulous brothers who own the Mediterranean market. Yes, Saloon Brothers. Saloon Brothers. It's uh, Tony and his brothers. I mean, the place is always packed. Packed, and it's a great place to go and get a shawarma and then finish with baklava. It's a really authentic place, very authentic. A downtown West Palm Beach. Let's start with what you want to start with. <laughs> it's so great to see my Canadian wife describe baklava. It's, it's great, you know, I mean, what else can I expect? Well, I, you know, I'm a multicultural overeater. Oh, yes. my goodness. which one do you want to start with? Which one are we starting with? I don't Let's know. Let's start with the big one. Wait a second, did you hear that? Which one do you want to start with, my dear? <laughs> Let's start with the big one, although I think that's a pretty foxy idea. <laughs> Why don't you... Mm. I like this. It's very pretty. Look at the inside. You see Full the way the that the, yeah, it's, but the way that it's laid out is yeah. so pretty. Go for it. And it matches Danny's shirt. <laughs> and it, it's also matched St. Patrick's Day. It was, it was just St. Patrick's Day. What? Just yesterday? Yesterday. Yeah. The top of the morning to you, baklava eaters. <laughs> yeah. I like feeding him when he's in the middle of laughing. Somehow, mm. I think it's going to taste even better. Mmm. Mm. Wow, this is very, very good. I ate a lot of it. This one is mm. really exceptional. It's very, very good. Tons of pistachio inside, and then the, the tons of honey on it. Mm. It's it's really unique. Like I don't I, I I don't think any North American pastries have this kind of a noodley no. dough. No. The kanafa leaves are very crunchy when you because fry them. Because they're fried. Because, because they're, they're fried. fried. So they're very it, crunchy. It, it's different. It's different because it's fried. Right. And then you put the pistachio with honey and rose water. Mm. Makes the big difference, you know? Big difference. And because they're, they are like noodley, so it takes a while to actually, you know, chew it and stuff because it has, it's very fulfilling. It's a yeah. fulfilling pastry. This is not a cheap fly-by-night pastry. Mm. Oh, Dad, Dad, the cake table is flying. Huh. It really satisfies you. Does it make you feel like, does it make you miss camels, honey? Yes, miss them a little bit. <laughs> the baklava really remind me of camels. <laughs> Cashews. Gesundheit. Gesundheit. <laughs> Bad joke. I know I had to get in there. Those are really nice. Mm. Wow. Hot tea with baklava. Very fulfilling. So, honey, this is from your hometown, so to speak. I mean, I know originally 
baklava was, I think, a long time ago from the Ottoman Empire, from Turkey. Is that right? right. Tell, tell me, because I don't know too much about baklava, and I bet you do. All I know is that my mother used to make it and I used to eat it, <laughs> and you can buy it in every corner right. in the Middle East, like in every corner. Yeah, the baklava. Yeah, pistachio baklava for Danny was basically um, like breast milk. Right. <laughs> so this was, so and my I mother... see this with total respect, basically my beautiful, and she is beautiful, mother-in-law's breast. Am I right? Yeah, that's why I came up such a happy baby. I can you imagine? Yeah. You grew up and you, instead of milk, you had those right. two. We are down with two. I think, though, at this point, after having really devoured, you know, one and a half, right? right I am turning into a baklavier, which is like a sommelier who spits <laughs> out the wine. I'm going to have a little taste. And so I basically am converting into baklavier. My cup. <laughs> Well, I'm turning to a baklava eater, so I'm going to start first. And this is going to be my spittoon. Mmm. What do you think? Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> I have to tell you. Mm. I had a lot of baklavas since I'm in America. Those are very good. They are excellent. Really. Mm. And then you know, those are great. Madame Baklavaye, what do mm. you think about the baklava? I couldn't spit it out. Mm. It was too good, even though I'm full. Mm. Yum, yum, yummy. It's, 1968. It's... This is a 1968. <laughs> Very hockey. This is a vintage baklava. A vintage baklava, 1968. <laughs> Very hockey. Okay, it's hockey and okay. A little bit vanilla. Mm. A little bit of vanilla. A bouquet of camel's breath. Bouquet of camel bread. A little bit rose water. <laughs> mm. It's got like the essence of roses in there. Oh, this has rose mm. water. Yeah, that's right. Because it has a, yeah, it really had a different yeah. kind of experience yeah. for the old tangy wangy. Right. And it's I want you to know that tangy wangy is a very technical term used with some of the best dessert reviewers around the world. Mm -hmm. Tangy wangy, it's tangy official. <laughs> You know what's up? This was very mind. nice baklava review, I have to say. My belly loves it, <laughs> and my wife's belly loves it. So please, can you hit the subscribe button underneath the video and subscribe? Because if you don't, we know where your kitchen is, and we're going to eat all of your desserts. All of it. All of it. All of it. All of your desserts. So subscribe. Subscribe. Do yourself a favor. Subscribe. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.